Niyamena, Niyamena, Tishtan, Tishtan, Nana, Nana, Avatara, Avatara, Akarat, Bhuvaneshu, Kintu, Krishna, Sayam, Samabhavat, Parama, Puman, Jo, Govindam, Adi, Purusam, Tamaham, Bajami, Ramante, Jogina, Ananti, Satya, Nandi, Siddhatmani, Iti, Rama, Padena, Asau, Parabrahma, Iti, Abhidhiyate, Ramante, Jogina, Ananti, Satya, Nandi, Chidatmani, Iti, Rama, Padena, Asau, Parabrahma, Iti, Abhidhiyate, रामादि मुत्ति से कलानिया में न तिष्ठन राम और ऋषिंग का बड़ा हाँ बामन परशुराम बलराम बुद्धा देर आर इन्यूमरेबल इनकारनेशन ऑफ़ द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ़ गॉड Ramadi, of whom Lord Ramchandra is the chief. So, Ramadi Murti is Kalanyamena Tishthan. Krishna simultaneously existing with his innumerable incarnation, like Ramanishinga Baraha Ittad. Ramadi Muttish Kalaniya Mena Tishthan Nana Avatara Makarat So Krishna accepted so many innumerable incarnations but the Supreme Personality Paramapurusha is Krishna. Ramadi Muttish Kalaniya Mena Tishthan Nāna-avatāra-makarat-bhuvani-sukintu Krishna-sayam Krishna-sayam-samabhava In spite of His coming in different multi-incarnations, He personally also descends Krishna-sayam-samabhava Parama-pumāna-yu The Supreme Personality Govindamadi Purusam Tamaham Bhajan. This is the prayer offered by Lord Brahma. Then again, in the Shatata Puran, the explanation of Rama is given. Rama, the word comes from the Ramadhat, Ramante. Ramante means uh, fulfilling uh, desires. So, Ramante, Jogina, Anante. Those who are yogis, Kurmi, Jnani, and Jogi. And amongst the yogis, the Bhakta Yogi is the topmost. Yoginamapi sarvesam madgata antaratmana sadhyavan bhajate jo ma same jukta tamamata. So, yogis, they are not interested with material enjoyment because material enjoyment is temporary. Ah. 
तो रामांते जोगी ना आनांते एवरीवन इज सीकिंग आफ्टर हैप्पीनेस ब्लिसफुल लाइफ बट दोस हु आर लेस इंटेलिजेंट मूरा दे आर सेटिस्फाइड विद टेंपरेरी सो कॉल्ड हैप्पीनेस ऑफ मैटेरियल एग्जिस्टेंस बट जोगीज आर नॉट लाइक दैट Yogi is an interested in the permanent happiness. Ramante yogi na anante, not ante. Anto bhutti me imang diya. Anto means this body. Anto bhutti me diya. Nitta shokta shreeri na. But within the body, the proprietor of the body is nitta. So nitta nitya naam. If I am nitta, eternal, then I should be interested in eternal happiness. But the eternal happiness is not possible to enjoy by this body. Therefore, it is said, Ramante yogi na anante. So ananta raman. That is the description of Rama. Rama means ananta ananda, unlimited happiness. Iti Rama pade na so para Brahma vidhiyate. Rama is para Brahma, and Krishna is also para Brahma. Krishna is recognized by your John. After understanding Bhagavad Gita, para Brahma param dhamo pavitram paramam bhavan. So there is no difference between Rama and Krishna. Krishna is also para Brahma, and Rama is also para Brahma. The Abla Ram Chandra. So we, Vaishnava, we have equal faith and obeisances to all Vishnu murtis, Ramadi murtis, Ram Nishanga, Varaha Narayan, Mahavishnu. There are Advaita Chitra Nadi Ananta Rupam. But we, Gauri Vaishnava. Our Madhva Gauri Vishnu, we are worshippers of Lord Krishna Murti. Lord Ramchandra's Murti and Krishna's Murti, there is no difference. But as I have already explained, Krishna Param Brahma full fledged, and Lord Ramchandra is also Param Brahma. But he did not exhibit his full-fledged opulence. Uh, so these are very confidential things. Uh, but still, on the birthday of Lord Ramchandra, we offer our respectful obeisances at his lotus feet, uh, so that he may be merciful upon us to bestow his bhakti. Devotion and service. We are all fallen souls. Uh, we have no power to approach the supreme personality of Godhead. But as it is directed by the Shastra, Sevan Mukhi hi Jivado Sarame Vas Purattha. So although there is no Difference between Sri Rama and Sri Krishna, but one devotee is attracted by one feature of the Lord, and the other is attracted by other feature. Sometimes it so happened that Krishna disappeared from the Rasa dance, and the Gopi is. Were very much eager to find out Krishna again. 
So when they were too much eager to see Krishna where he is, Krishna appeared as Narayana, four hundred Narayana. The gopis saw Narayana murti but did not become attracted by him. All the gopis said, Oh, he is Narayana. Let us offer respect, and they went up. Actually, there is no difference between Krishna and Narayana. Ah. Who is that? Ah. But gopis are not very much interested with Narayana. They wanted Krishna. Although there is no difference between Narayana and Krishna. Similarly, although there is no difference between Rama and Krishna, some devotees are attracted with Rama Murti and some devotees are attracted with Krishna Murti. But factually there is no difference. But in the Shastras it is said that if you chant the name of Vishnu, Vishnu Sahasranam, by chanting one thousand times Lord Vishnu's name is equal to one name of Rama. And by chanting three times the name of Lord Rama, it is equal to one name of Krishna. This is the verdict of the Shastra. So when we chant Hare Krishna, Rama is there already three times. It is not that because we are chanting Hare Krishna, we are neglecting Rama. No. With each Krishna name, there, there are three times Rama name. That is the verdict of the Shastra. Besides that, we are chanting also Hare Rama. Hare Rama and Sita Rama, the same thing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, or Hare Rama, Hare Rama, there is no difference. This is also Ramdhan. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. In the Shastras it is recommended, Agni Puran, Brahmanda Puran, Koli Santaran Upanisha, the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Besides that, when we chant Krishna's name, we chant also Lord Rama's name. Just like in the prayer, offered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna, 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 He. Krishna, 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 He. Krishna, 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 Raksama. Krishna, 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 Pahima. Rama, Raghava, Rama, Raghava. Rama Raghava Raksama, Krishna Kesava, Krishna Kesava, Krishna Kesava Pahima. So, devotees, they always chant together Krishna's name and Rama's name. So, when there is question of Rama Dhun, there is Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. That is Rama Dhun. So there is no partiality that these people are simply after Krishna. Of course, we are a little more attached to Krishna, but that does not mean we do not know who is Lord Ramchandra. We know that He is also Krishna Himself in His different feature of pastime. Ramadi Mutti Sukalani Yame Natishthan Nana Avatara Makarad Bhuvani Sukintu 
krishna sayam samabhavat param apmana jo govindavadi purusham tamaham vaja now let us begin our regular class जय राधा माधव पुण्य ग्लोरी 
All glory is to the assembly of the Lord. All glory is to the assembly of the Lord. Thank you very much. Everyone is seeking the absolute truth in different way. So the worship of the demigods, that is also in one way searching after the absolute truth, the Supreme Personality of God. Therefore in the Vedas the demigod worship is also recommended. Upasana kanda. The Vedas are divided into three kandas or division. <coughs> Karma kanda, Gana kanda, Upasana kanda. Therefore the other name of Veda is Trai. Trai na Suti Gochara. Uh, 
স্ত্রী শুদ্র দ্বিজবন্ধু না ত্রয়ী ন শ্রুতি গোচরা দ্যাট ইজ স্টেটেড ইন দি বেদিক লিটারেচার স্ত্রী শুদ্র অ্যান্ড দ্বিজবন্ধু দ্বিজবন্ধু মিন্স বর্ন ইন ব্রাহ্মীণ ছত্রিয় বৈশ্য ফ্যামিলি স্পেশালি ব্রাহ্মীণ ফ্যামিলি বাট হি ইজ নট পজেসিং দি কোয়ালিটিজ অফ ব্রাহ্মণ or Chhatriya, as now it is going on. Everyone is presenting himself as a Brahman, Chhatriya, Vaishya, but he, is, he hasn't got the necessary qualification. A Brahmana's qualification is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Sattam, Saucham, Samo, Dhamo, Titikha, Arjava, জ্ঞানম বিজ্ঞানম আস্তিকম ব্রহ্মকর্ম স্বভাবী সিমলার ইজ ক্ষত্রিয় সৌর্য বীর্য তেজ যুদ্ধে চ পলায়নম ঈশ্বর ভাবন চ ইন দিস ওয়ে দেয়ার আর ক্ষত্রিয় কোয়ালিফিকেশন সিমলার লি কৃষি গোরক্ষা বাণিজ্যম বৈশ্যকর্ম স্বভাব দি বৈশ্য ডিসক্রাইব টু বি এনগেজ in agricultural work giving protection to the cows and excess grains to trade where there is necessity to carry there and take something in exchange similarly shudra purichajyatmakam karyam shuddha karma swabhav shudra means he is satisfied by serving somebody just like a dog he is satisfied having a nice master that's all sometimes it is compared ah uh, the shudras like the dogs <coughs> so uh kaam kham tam karmana siddhi this guna karma vibhaga sa brahman chhatri vaishya that will be explained in the next part so karma to get success in one's particular type of occupational duties sometimes they worship the demigods that is described here uh, demigods they are also living entities and all living entities at part and parcel of krishna movi maam se jeev bhuta jeev log ke sanat the devi gods they are also part and parcel we are also part and parcel there is no different but they are more fortunate to get the post of chandra surya indra brahma brahma is also living in therefore uh, to get success in our material welfare activities sometimes not sometimes always we worship demigods so that is explained in the bhagavad gita the demigod worship is also my worship but that is abhidhi purvakam that is not the vidhi vidhi is to worship the supreme personality of god uh, but just uh, sometimes that's like we give some uh, reward to the doorman to enter into the uh, room of a great officer similarly demi god worship means to get the result very quickly and we may ask any type of benefits and reward from the demigods ah tad bhavati albo me dosa that will be explained in the seventh chapter the demigod worship may be uh, bringing quickly the resultant action the desired result but antavat phalam tesham the result is antavat 
it is limited. Uh, but bhakti is not limited. Bhakti is unlimited. Salpam api yasya dharvasya trayate mahato vaya. But people, tad bhavati alpam medhasam, those who are less intelligent, instead of worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they worship the demigods. Kaṁ phaṅta karmanāṁ siddhi jajanta yadevata. Therefore people are more interested in worshipping demigods than Krishna. The demigod in India especially we will find there are many devotees of the demigods, not devotees. Devotion is only applied in connection with the Supreme Personality of God. The demigod worship, they are not devotee, but they are interested to get the reward from the demigod. Otherwise they are not interested. But bhakti is not like that. The bhaktas, they are not after any reward from the Supreme Personality of God. There is difference between bhakti and other demigod words. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching us bhakti, he says, Nadhanang na janang na sundaring kavitang ba jagadi sakam. My Lord, I do not wish to ask from you uh, opulence, riches, nice wife, or many followers. These are material opulences. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, I do not want all these things. Na dhanang na janang na sundaring kavitang ma jagadi sakam. Mava janmani janmani sare bhavata bhakti rahaitu. That is the desire of devotee. He doesn't want even liberation. Janmani, Janmani. He wants to serve the lotus feet of the Lord, birth after birth. That is his aspiration. <clears throat> so, Kipraṁ hi manuse loke siddhi bhavati karma. The karmakandiya those who are on the platform of fruitive activities, generally they are attracted by the demigod worship. But vitarāga bhaya soka, those who are detached from material happiness, they become attached to Krishna. Manvanā māmupāsita, that is already explained. Now, we have to make our choice whether for temporary benefit we shall worship demigods or for permanent benefit we shall worship Krishna. That is our choice. But people generally make their choice. Kipranghi manusi loki siddhid bhavati. Immediate result. Immediate result. That will be explained. That immediate result, it may be very palatable in the beginning, but it is. It will produce bitter result at the end. But that we do not consider. We want immediate. The immediate result and remote result is described in Sanskrit word śreya and preya. Preya means immediate benefit, and Sreya means ultimate benefit. So those who are interested in the ultimate benefit go back to home, back to Godhead. For them, worshipping the Supreme Lord is most beneficial. And those who are interested in the matter of temporary benefit, dhanaṁ dehi, rupaṁ dehi, jaso dehi, 
just like by worshiping God is Durga, we want all these things. But we forget that whatever we get material benefit, with the end of this material body, everything is lost. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, that at the end, I, as death, I take away all your material position. Sarvaharam uh, mrittu. So that is not God. We, because we are eternal, nitya nityanam chetana chetanana, we should be after eternal happiness, eternal benefit. That should be our business. Therefore, we should not be karmaja, not karmi. Neither we should become gyani. We should become yogi. And what kind of yogi? Bhakta yogi. Because there are different types of yoga practices. Out of that, bhakti yoga is the topmost. Because Krishna says, Bhaktyamabhijanati Jamanjaschami Tattva. Without being in the Bhakti Yoga, neither you can be happy nor you can understand what is Krishna and what is your relationship with Krishna. Evam Prasannam Munasa Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. If you want to be happy, then Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga, it can be possible. Nittam Bhagavata Sevaya. That is stated. Nasta Prayasu Avadreshu. Nittam Bhagavata Sevaya. This class is held for the benefit of the human society. And this is the process of Nittam Bhagavata Sevaya. Sinnatam Sakatha Krishna Punna Savana Kita. If we regularly hear about Krishna, why regularly, constantly? If we practice in such a way that we shall hear about Krishna, talk about Krishna, chant about Krishna, eat about Krishna, work about Krishna, sleep about Krishna, walk about Krishna, that is Krishna consciousness movement. Anything we do in relationship with Krishna is pious. Punna Savana Kirtan. Nirbande Krishna Sambandha Jukta Vairagam Uchyati. This is the instruction of Srila Rupa Goswami. Dovetail everything with Krishna activities, Krishna consciousness. That is the recommendation. Then our life will be successful. And Krishna is sitting within your heart. When he sees you, that you are very serious about Krishna, then he helps you. Sinnatam Sakata Krishna Punna Savana Kitam Riddantasya Avadrani Vidhunati. Sam Krishna. Abhadrani vidhunati. We have got many dirty things within our heart. But as soon as we begin to hear about Krishna, just like we are hearing about Krishna, Krishna is speaking about Himself. Krishna is speaking about the situation of this material world. He will speak about the spiritual world. Everything is there in the Bhagavad Gita. So, if you regularly hear, that is the beginning of success of life, hearing. Uh, the Vedas are called hearing, śruti. One has to hear Vedas from the right person. That is the recommendation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sthāne sthita śruti gatāṁ tanubhāṁ mano <coughs> To achieve success in self-realization or God-realization, 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends sthāne sthita. You just remain in your present position. You remain as a grihastha or as a brahmin or as a sannyasi, as a businessman, professional man, it doesn't matter. Sthāne sthita. You remain as a brahmin, chatriya, vaiśya, sudra, it doesn't matter. But śruti gatāṁ tanuvāṁ manovi. Just try to hear about Krishna, śruti gatāṁ. Oral reception, śruti gatāṁ means oral reception. Tanuvāṁ manovi. And try to employ your body, words, tanuvāṁ and mano, mind. Engage in Krishna's service. Tanubhāṅa manovi. Sthāne sthita śruti gatāṁ tanubhāṅa. Je prāyasa ajitopi jitapasi. Krishna's another name is ajita. He is never conquered. But any person who hears about Krishna, jñāne prāyāsam mudapāsa namanta eva sanam kuritāṅa bhavadīya vārta. Simply mental speculation, giving up this bad habit. Jnana prayasam udapas, living is aside, namantayeva, very humbly and meekly. If one hears from the realized soul about Krishna, then in any position, thane sthita, because he is hearing from the realized soul, then one day, it will be possible to conquer the unconquerable. Prayasa ajito bi jito pasi to is tilakyam. So this Krishna consciousness moment is to give chance to everyone to hear about Krishna. This is the first process. Sravanam. And one, when one has heard, very nicely about Krishna, they can, then he can speak about Krishna. And he must speak. He cannot remain without speaking. That is the result of śravanam, śravanam kīrtana. One who, who has heard nicely, he must speak or preach. And preaching and hearing about whom? Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu. Vishnu and Krishna the same thing. Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Pada Sevanam Archanam Bandhanam Dasam Sakham Atmani Vedanam. These nine different process of Krishna consciousness movement is being pushed on by the members of Krishna Conscious Society all over the world. And we have opened also here in Bombay, the most important city of India. So we request you all to come every day and try to understand this philosophy of Krishna consciousness based on Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Vedanta Sutra, Ramayana, Mahabharata, all authentic scriptures, there is no concoction, there is no manufacturing, malinterpretation. We are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is, without any deviation. So if you take advantage of this process of understanding, Krishna Kirtana, then gradually we shall be bereft of all sinful activities, resultant action of sinful activities. Riddhantasa avadrāṇi. Avadrāṇi means inauspicious things accumulated within our heart. By this Krishna kīrtaṁ, as recommended by Śrī Caitanya Mahāprabhu, ceta dārpana mārjanaṁ. The heart is clean. It is just like mirror. So as soon as our heart is clean, then we can understand immediately what is Krishna, what I am, 
what is my relationship with Krishna and how I should act in relation to Krishna. This is perfection of life. <coughs> what had happened? <coughs> Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. <laughs>